with its colourful lanterns, intricate dragon carvings and paintings of mystical creatures, Longshan is one of Taipei's brightest temples. And although it's located here in Taiwan's capital city, its roots stretch all the way to Fujian. The temple was built in 1738 by settlers from that province on the southeastern coast of mainland China. The Taiwan Strait between China and Taiwan used to be known as the Black Ditch because it was a very dangerous waterway. There was a saying that out of 10 people who tried to cross it, only one would survive. So it was a really difficult journey for those Fujian immigrants to come here. Aside from crossing that Black Ditch, they also faced discrimination from locals and had other conflicts amongst themselves. So their spirituality became really important to them. Worshippers light candles, burn incense, and leave fruit and other delicacies as offerings to their chosen god. Longshan is devoted to the Buddhist goddess of mercy, Guan Yin. She's famous for rescuing believers from harm, particularly if they call out her name during times of need. The devotion to this goddess comes to China from India and dates back to as early as the first century Common Era. But alongside worship space for Guan Yin at the front of the temple, the rear section belongs to Taoist gods. In the back, we also have rooms dedicated to Mazu and other gods taken from folk religion. They're all put together here in Longshan. Today, I want to do well on a test, so I go pray to this deity. Or, if I have a business I want to succeed, I can pray to another god. Over the decades, the temple was affected by earthquakes, typhoons and general decay. It underwent a significant upgrade in the 1920s. The renovation was a major creative project. The temple's chairman invited a renowned architect from Fujian to do it. Longshan Temple was his first project in Taiwan, so he took a lot of care to make a beautiful building. Longshan is open daily and celebrates festivals throughout the year. Especially popular is the start of the Lunar New Year. But even when no particular occasion is being honoured, you might be lucky enough to catch a moment of perfect harmony. Miranda Atti, TRT World, Taipei, Taiwan.